Pipster here. She's a senior dog. She's 11. Many of you have senior dogs. I myself, I've had many senior dogs. I didn't miss some pretty serious clinical signs. And even I missed things I should have seen. Pippi's older. We expect as we get older, we're gonna slow down. Pippi doesn't walk near as far as she used to. She's got a little bit of arthritis. It's slightly progressed. She sleeps a bit more. I mean, those are all sort of normal aging changes. Seven silent health symptoms in your senior dog that may be a symptom of something more serious. Number one, does your dog seem to have this wet cough, especially at night when they first lie down or when they get up in the morning? Tula's got a bit of a cough. That's what's going on. And Tula's senior, she's 11 as well. Or does your dog have marked less energy? You know, they used to go to these big extended walks. Now all they can do is barely circle the garden. Or does it seem like they're breathing heavier than normal? This could be a sign that your dog has underlying heart disease. I encourage you to get them in, get them checked. You may need to have your dog on some form of heart medication, whether it's natural or conventional, and some form of diuretic, and that could be natural or conventional as well. Number two, drinking more water than normal, but a decreased appetite. Pippi in particular, being a lab, she has a great appetite. And if this dog wasn't eating, like I would know there's something serious going on. But when I would see a senior dog which has increased drinking, increased urination, and especially accompanied with decreased appetite, I start to worry about organ dysfunction, thinking kidney disease and or liver disease. So if you've got a dog that's increased the amount of drinking, they have a decreased appetite, get them in, see your veterinarian, get the appropriate blood tests, check for kidney or liver disease. Number three, this happened to one of my first dogs in practice anemia. Say your dog just seems to have much less energy, kind of like my dog Hoochie had. You know, I tried to take him for a run, he just didn't seem to have the energy level. So then I was kind of wondering, like, what's going on here? I lifted up his lips, a little bit look at his gum color. As you can see here, I mean, Pippi's gums are this nice, bright, healthy pink color. When a dog is anemic, I mean, these gums are no longer pink. They're almost, they're much more whitish, right? There just isn't the blood supply. And this is easiest way to see your dogs. So they're acting a bit off. They don't seem eh, quite themselves. A little bit older. I mean, have a good look at their gum color. Is it pink or is it white? Hoochie, my dog, he actually had a type of cancer called hemangiosarcoma. It's a cancer of the lining of the red blood cells, primarily affecting the spleen. The spleen is located here along the left side of the abdomen. And when the spleen became cancerous with hemangiosarcoma, it actually started to have spontaneous bleeding. So he was actually bleeding into his belly, causing the anemia. And surprisingly, except for Hoochie not having the same energy level, being anemic, there was no other clinical signs. Like his appetite was still good. He was still eating normal, still acting pretty much his normal self. I mean, that was the first real big sort of eye opener to me. Like, okay, seeing your dog stuff can happen pretty quick. And you need to be on it and aware and really looking at your dog thoroughly. Like I should have been more thorough. I should have lifted up his lips. I would have seen that he was anemic. And in severe anemia, we're going to see these dogs have serious exercise intolerance. So they just don't have any energy and a little bit of exercise. So they're going to start to breathe much heavier because yeah, they're just not getting enough oxygen. So if you see any of that in your dog, it's a big warning sign. Get in and see your veterinarian as soon as possible. Number four, something going on in the mouth. Say your dog seems to be a little bit more tender when they try to chew. They just can't chew as well. Maybe they're drooling out of one side or the other, right? Their breath doesn't smell so good. You're probably thinking it's just dental disease. He was a 13 year old lab cross. I'm like, it's dental disease, no big deal. That was not the case. Unfortunately, Lewis, he had a type of mouth cancer. So it's really important if you see that, don't just assume, oh, it's a bad tooth. Like do a bit more of a thorough exam. I mean, lift up your dog's lips, look at all of their teeth. I mean, go ahead and do that now. The front of the teeth, the back, open their mouth. Ah, look down their throat, pull their tongue out. Look from one side to the other. I want you to be really thorough, do a good thorough exam. Your dog might have some type of mouth tumor and if you catch it early, it can be removed in surgery as opposed to waiting when surgery is no longer an option. Number five, it's just a lump. Unfortunately, the majority of the dog lumps that we feel, they're soft, they're movable. They're, most of those are benign in terms of non-cancerous. But if something pops up in a hurry and it wasn't there, and or it changed from being very soft and movable 
to being very firm, firmly attached, rapidly growing. You know, that should be a big, big warning sign. And in particular, I want you to be able to know where your dog's lymph nodes are be able to see if a lymph node changes in size we need to be worried about lymphoma that's lymph node cancer so the ones that are easiest to find are the prescapular lymph nodes they sit right here at the base of your dog's neck just in front of their scapula or their shoulder all right a pippy there isn't much here but in a dog with lymphoma typically these are the easiest ones to find and they bulge right up they swell in a hurry so if you're to see that, you're at home, I'm like, oh, I've never noticed that lump before. It's firm, slightly painful. That could be a lymph node, could mean lymphoma. Once again, just get your dog in as soon as possible. Number six, they're having difficulty walking. You think it's arthritis. It could be something more serious. It is common for our older dogs to have arthritis. They have normal joint wear and tear. You have cartilage rubbing on cartilage, wears down to bone rubbing on bone. You have inflammatory joint disease. That's pretty normal, but not every limping dog has that. So go ahead and walk your dog around, similar to how we're walking Pippi around now, and watch how your dog walks. If you see them where their rear paws especially fold over on themselves, that's called knuckling, that's suggestive of a more serious neurologic condition called degenerative myelopathy. You have the sheath of the spinal cord is no longer sending proper conduction impulses first showing up in these rear limbs and that's why you're seeing your dog what it's called knuckling where the paws are bending over on themselves they're not getting that sense or that perception that they should be planting their paws straight down often it's treated with anti-inflammatories as is arthritis but there are other things you can consider giving that may help a dog that has dm degenerative myelopathy so if you see this, take note of that, get your dog in to see your veterinarian and ensure you pass that along. Like I think I saw my dog knuckling. They're gonna check for that. You're gonna get to a diagnosis much quicker. Then number seven, the ADR just ain't doing right. With our dogs in particular, if we have a dog like Pippi who has a wonderful appetite, all of a sudden she doesn't, I mean, there's a big warning sign should be going off. Like, you know your dog, I mean, I know Pippi in particular. If Pippi was not interested in eating this, I'd be like, okay, there's something seriously wrong with her. Likewise with the amount she's drinking, like say she's also drinking less. Likewise with just her general way in terms of, of interacting with people. Like if she's not showing any life at all, I mean, all those things taken together in combination, that's a big warning sign. That could be one of many diseases. It could be underlying organ dysfunction, you know, liver disease, kidney disease, maybe heart disease, and easily it could be cancer. So if you're seeing your dog's appetite is decreased, you see that they're drinking less, they're just way less interactive than they used to be. So go in to your veterinarian, get an appropriate workup, ensure at least that your dog doesn't have cancer. And, they, and the last thing I wanna say to add to all of those signs or symptoms is just sort of trust your instincts or trust your gut. You know your dog so much better than anyone else. And if you see something, you know, it's really just way out of character. Something's really changed. I mean, trust your instincts. Go in and see your veterinarian. Have that investigated. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of the seven silent health symptoms in your senior dog that may be a sign of something more serious. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.